in the way I see it. Let, let, let's break it. Uh, well, uh, from my perspective, let's break this down bit by bit. In your Southwestern Conference, the way I'm thinking, you got your potential powerhouses. Yo, your smash runners, your pass rushers, pass protectors, and scrambling QBs. Well, yeah, that too. What I'm saying is the, play- the playoff for that for me is because the high school playoffs I've gone through with you know, Maple Wood a couple of years ago. Yeah. We get all the way to at least play for the chance to play for the championship. Mm-hmm. Or at least make it there. That was four rounds of crook. Mm. We literally got past Thanksgiving. Yeah. We got to at least the qualifying game to try to make it to the tournament. So I don't know how they're going to, on the NFL side, we're going to figure that out. Mm. And and I'll let you know I had spoken with Thelma. That she, she said that the WFA is switching up their formats, and somehow, and somehow Lisa King went along with it. And the way this is. They and, and with the way with the way they seem to think, playing next year, and given and given the fact that there are some new teams that joined the WFA that I don't even know about, teams that I never even heard of before, but there's some teams that came from other divisions of that, like the IWFL, like the North Florida Pumas. They're back in the WFA. These are from the WFA. This is the North Florida Pumas. They went from the IWFL back to the WFA format. Okay, so who went back to the WFA standards? That'll be the North Florida Pumas. Okay. And this that and here's another one. Memphis, the women's football team in Memphis had changed their name again. They went from the Memphis Legends to the Memphis Stars. And they're still the Memphis Legacy, and to the Memphis Legacy, and they still call that to this very day. And they, they were the, the dynasty at one point. Yes, they were. They, they got, they've gone through more name changes in the Superdome has gone through sponsorships. Yep. I mean, literally. Mm-hmm. Not, not to, not to disrupt the Memphis team, but can you please do us all one favor? Have your name already. <laughs> and, and stick, and stick to one, and stick to one team name. You don't change your king name four times. Four times. You're not, you're not, you're not like a dude where you're changing holding tight underwear every other week. No. Like, <laughs> oh, and George, and George has got women in the dog pound now. Who would that be? Women dressed up wearing uh, shoulder pads, barking like dogs. Georgia. Well, that's typical Georgia. What do you expect? <laughs> True. I mean, what, I mean, seriously, what you, what, what did you think you were gonna see? What? What, 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 did, what did you expect you were gonna see? What, what, did, what did you think you were gonna see? What did you think you just walk out quietly? True. Not on your life. Nah, really. Now, f- shit from. College to high school, Brentwood had came up super short and gets Riverdale as Riverdale shut them out completely. Man, the Warriors have come back with vengeance this year. Yeah, they were they were they were taking last year. Last year they're like, you know what? We'll let you guys enjoy your celebrations this year. But talk about coming back with vengeance. Yeah, they have come back with vengeance. And three Williamson County teams had to forfeit their games for two weeks because their schools are closed for COVID. Independence, Fairview, and now Page is added to that list. Alrighty. Those three those are three Williamson County teams from classes five and six triple A. 
they had to forfeit their games because their teams had their players that came down with COVID somehow. And here's why. When when here's why in Fairview they had twenty eight cases and they all came out of Fairview High. Twenty eight. Wow. Centennial had fifteen, but not enough to close down the school for two weeks. Wow. Because when they closed down uh, Fairview for two weeks, two weeks of Fairview's games had to be forfeited. And then two weeks later, after Fairview kind of got cleared for playing again, Independence gets hit. And a week later, just just three days ago, Paige. So those three teams will not be able to play this week. Yep. Meanwhile, your Franklin Rebels, Franklin Admiral, I should say. Yep. So this worked for the Redheads. They went to the Ads. Yeah. Going from the Rebels to the Admirals because the name Rebels is offensive. And and from the several graduating classes after mine, they proved it to be racist. They proved it. Because back in 2013, when they played Centennial, they were mocking the Centennial players and the cheerleaders. Patriots. Yeah, that belongs to Paige. We don't need two teams called the Patriots. Well, I believe, I believe Oakland has that moniker as well. Yeah, but their moniker is of the New England Patriots. They don't even have them. Uh, Paige don't even have that. No. Paige don't even have it. They don't even have Paige. Paige did have it. Yep. But they just put a letter they just put the word of Patriots on their helmet. <coughs> Oakland's <coughs> Oakland <coughs> Oakland would have to have the like the New England version of it on the helmet. Yeah, but he he's sleep now. Okay. Oh, what we're going to... Huh? 75%. Yeah, yeah. It's frozen still in the center. I took it out earlier. It's like 75% unfrozen. 25% is still frozen like in the middle. What? Let's talk, my mom's talking about turkey. Gobble, gobble. Oh, Lord. They're getting ready for it. And the LSU's just kicked off. Owen Jordan is about to set the kickoff on the Saturday night. Yep, and, and it looks Michigan like State, Arkansas is about to kick Auburn's, Auburn's kicking off first. Georgia chose to receive, so that means Georgia receiving in the first half. Auburn's getting the ball back in the second half. Have on the, yep. Fanny will have it with Seals and quarterback. Uh oh, uh oh. Here we go. Here we go. Egg. Is down at the end. Oh, Jesus, hey, there it goes on the opening possession. Holy smokes. Wow. Number six, going to bulldoze two players out the way after he done got, right before he got knocked out of bounds. And that was a good set of run. That was a 25-yard punt return. I do believe. I do believe. And they're at the 40-yard line. If that's, if that's the case, that means they're down to the they he down the ball at the eight yard line. He caught the he received the ball at the eight yard line and ran twenty five yards before he went out of bounds. Taking two Auburn players with them. Now we see quarterback Stinson Bennett, the junior, starting this game. Yep. Who actually had to come in last week and actually had to survive and save the Georgia game against Herman so. Well, yep. He was a preferred walk on at Georgia. He emulated Baker Mayfield. He transferred from Jones College. Mm-hmm. He returned to Georgia on a scholarship just last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was a sophomore when he came back. Now he's a redshirt junior. 
He's a junior. Oh man, pass incomplete. Oh, to Fitzpatrick, it was incomplete. All right, the impact players: Zamir White and George Pickens for Georgia, KJ Britt and Jalen Simpson for Auburn. Now the name KJ Britt might be familiar. That's who his second cousin just happens to be. Former Patriots and Ram star Kenny Britt. Holy Jesus, he overthrew the Fitzpatrick. That's incomplete on a third and five. Make that four and five. Georgia has to punt. I do. Find, uh, let your receiver catch the ball. Don't overthrow him, please. Nah, he was covered. He had no choice. He he ain't got no way to catch it. He was covered. Three receivers, three defenders covered him. They knew Sizzle was going to throw the Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick was the main target. Not Pickens. Corner, linebacker, and safety. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Canberra. Canberra for um, Georgia's about to punt it away. So, Georgia goes three men out of that first set. Yep. LSU has. Uh, take LSU that. Uh, yep. That yep. Georgia was called for a false start. They back and back 10 yards. That's so, they had to put back on a 4th and 10. So, they'll punt here. Yikes. So now it is a fourth down and about ten yards. It's fourth and ten. So basically back where they started. Yep. And Canberra, uh, Camarada, Camardra is actually punting away. The dude, it's a soccer player. Uh oh. Shut up. Take that back. Wait a minute. Auburn. Wait a minute. Lane Kiffin's yeah. pissed off. Kiffin's pissed. Yeah, he should be. False start is on Georgia again. Okay. That's fourth and fifteen. They backed them up even further. Well, maybe maybe the maybe the only blessing out of this maybe the only blessing out of this for the punt team. They're getting their they're getting their sprint work in. Because right now where they're starting back up, they're almost their own goal line. Yep. And usually they're putting from near own goal line, it usually doesn't end very well. He's punting from the eight yard line. No, take it back. He's putting from the seven. He's putting from the seven yard line. Now take it back. He's at the twenty seven. Here we go. Here we go. Don't don't go back any further. And it's a touchback. It's a touchback. Yes. Oh. Mom, it's my podcast. All right, let's see what Bo Nix has in store. I think we'll do this again next week. Yeah, yeah that's about right. But we'll have another week of college football. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, game, but yeah, Bo Nix is a sophomore. COVID outbreaks. Oh, Lord. It. Uh oh. Uh oh, Auburn's got a flag against them. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. And please, make sure you put your hand sanitizer on your hands, not on your gloves. Yeah. Folks, please. Alright, Auburn is getting called for an illegal snap. That's kind of like the same as a false start. And that was an illegal snap. Number 52 did an illegal snap. You cannot do that. They're going to call it like a false start. Five yards. Oh, boy. And, and uh, uh-oh. There's another flag. Who is against this time? Once again, against Auburn. They're backing them another five yards. Auburn's on their own five-yard line. Bro, is him. Number 56 got called for a false start. So both teams got two penalties each.